Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. Cardano hit target area and has seen a bearish reversal. Amazing. In the previous video, I think we were down here somewhere and um, based on the Elliott Wave count, I suggested we'll probably go a little bit higher, which we did, yeah. Um, and I gave you this yellow target area for the Wave 2. And the Wave 2 target area was located here between 50.2, 50.3 cents and 52 cents. Yeah, and we, if I zoom in, you can see that we touched it yeah, with two candles and then we saw a bearish reaction. And this is now the moment where we're going to see the decision if wave two is finished and if we're already entering wave three. Because we talked in that video about the potential that obviously after wave three in purple was finished, wave four in purple was probably finished. No guarantee yet, but the most likely scenario. Then we moved down already here, and that is currently what my view is, in wave five in purple. Wave five in purple also subdivides into five further waves because it is an impulsive wave, okay? And therefore we could already count wave one down here, wave two up, and again, it reached target area for wave two, all based on Fibonacci retracements, and we could now be in wave three down. Now there is no guarantee we are already here in wave three. Wave three is normally the most impulsive, the strongest waves. And if we see a break below the swing low at 46.7 cents, then it is quite certain that we'll get down in wave three. And we can also in a minute calculate the target for wave three. Um, there is currently no guarantee wave two is finished. So without a problem, as long as we stay above 46.7 cents, it is good and likely uh, or possible at least, that we go back into the target range here in yellow, that wave two just isn't finished yet. But the fact that we already moved below that previous swing low here, you can see that actually, um, we moved below that swing low here at 48.1 cents, which is there actually, um, we, but we, we, we broke below it already briefly, indicates that the likelihood increases that we actually go down from here, because we broke it already. Um, and also we reached obviously one of the ideal target areas for a wave two. So chances aren't bad that we move down, but if we move down, it needs to be a strong move because it would be a wave three. Yeah. So what would be the target for the wave three? We can calculate that as well. So we'll take the Fibonacci extension tool and we're looking for the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level of, um, Wave one and wave one finished here, not at the absolute low. I don't think so. Um, but here, then it moved up to the high here at 50.2 cents roughly. And yeah, the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level would then take that wave three actually to 39 cents. That would be quite a significant move down. So be prepared mentally for that, but it will only take place below 47.6 cents. So if we go below that, I would I think it is very likely that we go down first, first though, to the wave three low here from the um, 12th of June, 30th, 13th of June, 43.9. Yeah, so 47.6 first, then 43.9. And then I think the 39 cent level would be the next target. So if we don't make a lower low, then we can assume that we might touch the wave two target area once more. Um, but um, we've already seen quite a strong reaction down. So it remains interesting. Yeah. So wave two um, could be complete. Yeah. Um, as long as we are not below 46.7 cents, though, we have to assume we might touch it again and we get into that area again. But um, so clear signal, clear signal here. Yeah. For a further sell off would be 46.7 cents. So that is what I'd be waiting for. Um, it could be a short trade, you know, and I'm not telling you to do it, just telling you what a possible trade setup might be. Um, if that level gets broken, high likelihood we move lower. Um, if we go above the previous swing high here at 40, 50.2 cents, it wouldn't be bullish. It would just mean that we get into this wave two area once more. Yeah. And really only and only only above that purple wave four, if we significantly go above that level here at 54.6 uh, cents, then we can talk about something more bullish. But I told you in the previous videos, likelihood really is quite high that this is only a bearish flag and that we will go down from here further in a wave five in purple. 
and then finish the overall correction currently looking like in the area of the low 30 cent range. Could ADA already have completed the correction? Yes, it has come down low enough. It has come down into my larger yellow target area that I defined many months ago. So between 30, uh, 29 and 54 cents. So we did come into that area. And yes, it could start to move up, but we would need bullish confirmation for that. And we're currently far away from that. And at the moment, because you know we're making technically here at the moment lower lows and lower highs, we are um, having a good chance here to still make that lower low in a purple wave five in the low 30 cent range. Okay, and that is my view about ADA. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.